Oh, okay. Uh, see, now those are ones that you always reflect on later. I wish I had more time to answer that question. I would like to have dinner with Billy the Kid to ask him if he got away or if Pat Garrett actually shot him in the back. I would like to have dinner with... I would love to have Bill Clinton would I something tells me would be a lot of fun. I, I and also he'd have to answer my questions though. I'd have to right he'd have to answer what I would like to know about his time in office. And with anyone else, I'll throw Miss Brittany in there, who I get to have dinner with tonight, by the way. Um, well, of course Bruce Lee would be one, but you know, I think we all all martial artists want to say that. Um I'm trying to think too of like some of my favorites, Brad Pitt. And maybe maybe I should throw a girl in there. What girl would I throw in there? Um. <laughs> no, I mean like that's she's no. Hmm. Dead or alive? I don't know. Um, maybe Marilyn Monroe. Shit. Okay, dinner with three people, dead or alive. Okay, I would have to go Joe Rogan. I'm a huge Joe Rogan fan. Uh, he's he's just my guy. I love him. Um, you know, he, he would just be a fun guy to sit down with. A couple other guys, maybe like an, an artist, maybe like a Jay-Z character. Jay-Z was someone I always listen to and, and have a ton of respect for. And then, huh, maybe I was dead or alive. Man, that's a good question. So one, one more. So I'm, I'm, I'm at the table with Joe Rogan and Jay Z, and then who else would complete that? Maybe like, a, maybe like a Dave Ramsey. I, I like Dave Ramsey's financial advice. He's helped me out with some financial stuff. He would be a good one. Uh, maybe like a Muhammad Ali would be a fun one to sit down with. You know, obviously he's already passed away. Uh, Mike Tyson, he'd be up there too. I got a lot, of, a lot, a lot of fan, a lot of guys that I'm, I'm fans with. Uh, but yeah, that's, I think that's a good little group, you know, let's go with Joe Rogan. I've always wanted, you know, always watched this podcast, been a huge fan watching that. So I'd go Joe Rogan, uh, Lil Wayne. He's a, a rapper that I came up, you know, you know, listening to a lot. And then a third, um, uh, Joe Rogan, Lil Wayne. Let's see. Thinking of a NHL player right now. <laughs> Who do we got? Someone big NHL player. Um, I don't know. I don't know my third. He's a good one. Yeah, let's go with him. Yeah, solid NHL player. One of the best ever. So, yeah, it's a good third. Alexander Ovechkin's a good third. Yeah. Um, three people dead or alive. Just right off the bat. Uh, let me think. It's just, you just like want to choose someone dead, right? Like right off the bat. Um, God damn, that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go. Tupac, Biggie, and... <laughs> Um, Prince. Oh, that's a great one. I'm going to dinner with Prince. Yeah, that's like just three dead people I could think of. <laughs> the last Julius Caesar before Rome fell to find out why. Um, Hitler to have a conversation with him and ask all questions like, why do you believe what you believe? What was your end? Like, I would have so many questions for that guy, you know, like, so, so, and the stash. <laughs> Who told you that stash was cool? <laughs> and then, um, dead or alive, man. Uh, nah, nah. I know. <laughs> no, it would probably, man, honestly, it would probably be. And I feel bad. The only other person I would want to talk to, uh, I have access to Mr. Victor Kui. I have access to Mr. Chatre Sitjadong. It would be Donald J. Trump, President Trump. You know, I would, there's so many questions I could ask that guy, man. <laughs> that's, that's difficult. That's, that's a hard question. Um, man, um, you know what? I, I, I'm going to, I want to stick with, with, uh, with fire to some extent. Uh, I'm going to go with Muhammad Ali, you know, uh, because I always wanted to meet him. Uh, Joe Frazier and uh, Anderson Silva. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, that, that would be an amazing uh, sit down conversation about, you know, tactics and, and mindset. Uh, Rampage Jackson. 
I've always been a fan. Uh, Boss Rutten. And, uh, ooh, gosh. Anybody? Okay. I am a big fan of Boss Rutten and Rampage. I always have been since I was little. Uh, gosh, another, um, I should think of someone non MMA related. Um, you know, and Marilyn Monroe. No, uh, Andy Warhol. He's so crazy. Uh, let me think. I would say definitely Bruce Lee because he's one of my heroes and I love him. And uh, I would definitely like to pick his brain about a lot of stuff. Another would be uh, Miyamoto Musashi. Uh, pretty self explanatory. One of the greatest samurai of all time. Great historical figure. And then. Probably uh, John Adams, second president of the United States. That dude was just a revolutionary. I have so much respect for that guy. Uh, you know, in, in history class, he was always one of the most, like, standout figures of history. Because he was the guy that really, you know, him and Thomas Jefferson and, and Benjamin Franklin really piggybacked the uh, the revolution in a lot of ways. And I think, I think he was incredibly instrumental in that. And he's a guy who I have a lot of respect for and would definitely like to... If I had the opportunity to pick his brain, especially for that time when there was no social media and there was no news and there was no this or that, like intelligent people like that throughout history that were able to kind of have that revolutionary level of thinking really intrigued me. Tupac? Huh, who else? Dead or alive? Ali? And Jay Z? Oh, um. Is Hunter S. Thompson dead? I would take him. He's he's a, he'd be an awesome conversation. Edgar Allan Poe, because I, I don't think I need to even explain that one either. These are some very in, in, intellectually cryptic men. And then let's say uh, Aubrey Marcus. We'll throw him in there because he'll bring me back to the light. Yeah. Was that original flow? Head kicks with the pros, picks up the fights or anything in the mix. Getting closer to the heart of the flame, bringing conversations with heavy hitting names. You feel the love of the game.